Each of the six outputs in the receiver can be configured as either momentary or remaining, latched, using a special configuration mode. Note. The transmitter and receiver must be paired before output configuration can be done. Caution. All outputs must be disabled before configuration by disconnecting the output power input SW terminal. To configure the receiver outputs do the following. Open the lid on the receiver, 6 screws, by using a Torx 20 screwdriver. Power off the receiver. If you have a conversion box for 230 volts AC, wait 10 seconds. Disconnect the output power input terminal. Install jumper J1 in left position. Press and hold the learn slash erase button while powering on the receiver. Continue to press the button until all output LEDs are lit. Release the button. The output LEDs will now display the current toggle configuration. Output LED lit indicates remaining mode active. Output LEDs off indicates momentary mode. To store the configuration, press the learn button for one second. Power off the receiver. If you have a conversion box for 230 volts AC, wait 10 seconds. Reinstall the jumper J1 in its delivery setting. Start the receiver.